I've been with the Canadian Civil Liberties Association for eight years, and in that time I have seen many struggles for rights and freedoms of people in Canada. But there are victories, and I have good news today. It relates to a piece of legislation, Bill C-49, that the government tried to pass starting in October of this year. Bill C-49 was supposed to be a piece of legislation that would have punished people who smuggle other human beings. But the real effects of Bill C-49 would have been to punish those asylum seekers, men, women and children, who entered Canada looking for safe haven in our country. Bill C-49 would have treated these people, these refugees, like convicted criminals. Under the terms of Bill C-49, a group of people entering Canada would have been, could have been taken into mandatory detention for at least one year without any possibility of independent review during that time of why they were being locked up, whether it was necessary. Even after people's identity were, was established, even after their refugee status was accepted, these individuals would still have had no right to leave Canada because they would have had no right to travel documents for at least five years. It was not clear what the purpose of these restrictions were and the many other restrictions in Bill C-49 since they didn't have anything to do with human smugglers, but they had a terrible impact on the lives of men, women and children who were running away from terrible situations in their countries of origin. These are just some of the things the Bill C-49 would have done to these people if it had passed into law. This would have been in violation of Canadian law, of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and of many international covenants, including covenants that Canada signed, like the Covenant on the Status of Refugees. But by all appearances, Bill C-49 will not be passing into law anytime soon. Finally, after a great deal of effort on the part of many different organizations across Canada, we learned that all of the opposition parties had agreed that Bill C-49 should not become a part of Canadian law, and that the political will of the people of Canada was not to treat people seeking asylum like convicted criminals. The struggle for basic rights and freedoms is not an easy one. There are many obstacles and pitfalls and bumps and walls along the way. But there are also the victories. We know that if we don't keep pressing forward, we may also move backwards. So in the spirit of Human Rights Day, we are pleased and relieved to tell you about our victory in relation to Bill C-49. Happy Human Rights Day.